What is up guys, Photo Fever here, and welcome back to another Tuesday Two Minute Tutorial. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how you can remove haze and flare from your photos really easily using just one simple filter in Photoshop. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and choose a photo where you want to remove either flare or any hazing in the background. Now I'm going to be using this photo which I got off of unsplash.com. You're more than welcome to follow along by the link in the description. So what you want to do first is just go ahead and just duplicate the background layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Command J on our keyboard. Once we've done that, we can then go ahead and open up our filter panel. So I'm gonna go up to the top section here click on the filter, and then we're gonna go ahead and open up the camera raw filter. This will give us a little bit more play in the exposure, but also the clarity slider, which is really important for this effect. So what we want to do is we want to reduce the amount of hazing that we're getting in this top section of the photo here. And you can see it is quite dramatic. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and increase the contrast slightly. This will hopefully clear up a little bit of that. Then we will also drop down the highlights this will hopefully remove most of the highlights from this top section, giving us a little bit more contrast. And what we can do in the same case is we can just raise the shadows just ever so slightly. And to be honest, that's all we need to do in the exposure section. Next, we want to change our texture, clarity, and dehaze. So I'm gonna increase the texture just slightly, but this is where we want to really increase and get rid of all this hazing here. So we can increase our clarity, but we don't wanna increase it too much but our most important slider is obviously our dehaze slider. So what we can do is we can dramatically increase that like so. And as you can see, slowly and steadily, we are removing that haze bit by bit. And what you can do afterwards, if you're finding that the photo is just a little bit too undersaturated, instead of chasing the saturation, we can just simply increase the vibrancy. And that can sometimes offset any increase in contrast you might find. And all you need to do is once you're happy with the results, all you need to do is simply click the OK button and it will revert back to Photoshop where you can see the before and after. And because we saved it as a smart object, you can see smart filters have been applied. So as you can see, this is a really quick and easy way of removing either haze or flaring from your photos. Here is the before and here is the after. And there we go, guys. 